Uh, you guys remember who, what Burisma is, right? So Burisma is the Ukrainian energy company who uh, threw loads of money at Hunter Biden that he didn't earn, some of which then went to <clears throat> the big guy. If that's correct. Um, and now Moscow is saying that they are behind that terrorist attack that happened in, uh, in, in Moscow recently. So Moscow accuses Hunter Biden linked company of terror attack. Offering no evidence whatsoever, says Daily Beast. Federal investigators claim they are also looking into the involvement of specific individuals in the US government in deadly attacks. Now, I have a lot to say immediately on this, and probably the both main things I have to say you guys have thought of as well. One, Moscow would be motivated to blame Ukraine so that they can justify continuing the war. Two, if they are going to blame Ukraine, they would be motivated to blame a part, a piece of Ukraine associated with the corrupt regime in the US so that half the US is on their side. <laughs> that half, including, not me obviously because I'm not in the US, but same influence, same belief system. So, let's read on a bit and we'll see if we can ascertain, is it, one, the US actually would have a reason to want to do this terrorism. Or two, Russia is lying about it to prolong the war. Now, actually, the motive on both sides is prolonging the war. Um, so I'm not sure which side would be more likely to do it, um, or which, which side would be more likely to, to you know, be telling the truth in this case. Let's read on. The Russian government has, without any evidence whatsoever, says Daily Beast, yeah, but the US government does that a lot as well, <laughs> accused a Ukrainian energy company known for its ties to Hunter Biden of financing terrorist attacks. The investigative committee announced the startling claim in a press release Tuesday, accusing Burisma Holdings, where President Biden's son once worked, of sponsoring terrorist attacks both inside Russia and beyond its borders. Although no mention was made of last month's deadly attack on Crocus City Hall. Okay, so they didn't mention that specifically. That's interesting. The news comes after Russian authorities early this week claimed the perpetrators of the attack were hired by figures in Ukraine and rather dubiously promised payment in Russian rubles. That's interesting. Now, I, I don't, as you guys know, I don't care that much about the Ukraine-Russia war, um, except where it relates to other things. I'm more interested here about the Biden's corruption. We knew that Burisma was a, a corrupt money laundering um, front, or at least we, had a, we were pretty sure of that. And I think that's, um, that's kind of clear from how it operated. What we may not have known, which may not be true, but it might be, is that it was also money laundering for purchasing international terrorism, which the US uses in such purchases. Now, the more I've learned about the Middle East, the more I've been thinking, I, I reckon about 90% of the conflict in the Middle East is instigated by wealthy countries outside the Middle East at this point. Now, the, the people in the Middle East are prone to war, yes. But still, <laughs> I, I, I think 90% of it is, is proxy. Um, and probably most of that is, is actually instigated by the US. Iran, for example, um, the US keeps paying them, please don't make any nukes, here, we'll give you billions. And then suddenly terrorists in the region get wealthier. You've got to wonder, is that just the US sort of being kind of dumb? Or are they giving that money to terrorists because they like the terrorists being there? Unfortunately, you can't put it past them. It's a pro-gamer move, says Phil, yeah, indeed. And um, uh, I also suspect that Israel may benefit from terrorism in the region, though some Israelis certainly don't, as they're killed by the, the Muslim terrorists. I think the Israeli government benefits from that. Um, and it has been noted, though I'm not sure how true this is, that the only country in the region that ISIS doesn't attack is Israel, by the way, a nation filled with Jews, who Muslims historically aren't massive fans of, so, you know, you do have to wonder, you know, to do it to wonder, you know, back maybe 20 years ago, I would have suspected, okay, probably about 10% of what goes on in the Middle East is like orchestrated by Western powers. At this point, no, I'm pretty sure about 90% of it is. Does ISIS use Jewish tunnels? Good question, guys. Well, I actually don't know. Um, we should ask Chase. Oh, shit. I keep forgetting he's Indian, not, uh, not a member of ISIS. They start with the same letter, chat. That's, that's the problem.
Um, maybe you could ask him anywhere, though. Just ping him now. Um, so the news comes after the Russian authorities early this week. Moscow is also now suggesting that certain unnamed U.S. officials may have been involved in funneling money to Burisma. To, that's backwards, isn't it? To finance terrorism in Russia, perhaps hoping to spark a few new Hunter Biden related conspiracy theories ahead of the U.S. presidential election. As far as I know, Daily Beast, that conspiracy theory is true. And it's been confirmed. The investigative committee claims it acted at the behest of a group of lawmakers who demanded an investigation into the US and NATO countries financing terrorist attacks. Uh, and cracked the case in just a few days, as that appeal from lawmakers was prepared only in late March. And the thing is, if it's obvious, you can crack it in a few days. If you know, competent investigators can find it. Granted, it's also what would happen if you just wanted to you know, set up a, 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 a lie. Uh, false accusation. And this this accusation is quite convenient. It is quite convenient. So I'm not sure which way to go. I'm not sure whether Russia's lying to uh, to 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 um uh uh damage the uh, reputation of the US president or if Russia's telling the truth and the US actually did this <laughs> to uh to keep the war in in Ukraine going. Investigators are now said to be probing the flows of several million US dollars and the involvement of specific individuals from among government officials and public and commercial organizations in Western countries. Always adept at getting the attention of right-leaning news media in the US, says the Daily Beast. The criminal appears to be reviving a conspiracy theory promoted by Donald Trump. Blah, 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 blah. Bullshit, bullshit, lies. It was true, guys. Um... The Ukrainian energy company, where the younger Biden previously served on the board, which, by the way, is not normal. He has no expertise in the area, has been as long been the center of claims made by Trump's allies in the GOP that both Hunter and Joe Biden were part of a massive international bribery scheme, which is well evidenced. Um, <laughs> the, the page says that Republicans have been unable to substantiate these claims. Uh, yes, they have. That's what the Hunter Biden laptop was. You remember all those uh, all those photographs? All, all that data. And I think there was more evidence found later as well. So no, that one's true. But yeah, anyway, um, I think the article is, is about done now. I don't know, chat. I don't know. Um, so press one if you think it's more likely that Russia's telling the truth about this. And press two if you think it's more likely that Russia's lying about this. I'm not sure, honestly. It does seem quite convenient. I, I, if I if I was forced to pick, I might lean slightly towards two. But it's uh, it could be either way. On point five flip a coin, yeah, it's interesting though. Like both both ways, this could go are are potentially interesting. Jackson, I think both parties are misleading as well. Yes, but this claim specifically. <laughs> Nighthawk says three. Russia is lying, but they don't know that their lie is actually correct. <laughs> that's that's a good one. That's a fun answer. I like that. 